Is your hamster a bit chubby? Is your hamster maybe getting a bit lazy? Well, this device might help you. It will track the distance your hamster runs in its wheel. It uses neodymium magnets and a Hall effect sensor to track the amount of rotations. From the rotations, it can calculate the distance traveled by the hamster in its wheel. It uses an Adafruit feather with Bluetooth, only Bluetooth is not enabled yet. For this project, you will need a hamster wheel with a back like this. That's important because that's what the 3D printed parts were designed for. A battery bank or USB power supply, some neodymium magnets, Hall effect sensors, a permanent proto board, OLED display, an Adafruit feather, a USB cable, some cable crimpers, some flat cable, super glue, and some 3D printed parts. I recorded the entire design session for making these 3D printed parts. The design session took me about 20 minutes. You can view the entire session by clicking the annotation in the top left corner or via the link in the description. While we wait for everything to print, let's talk about the electronics. Now it's very hard to convey how everything is put together in a video. So the schematics are available in the GitHub repository linked in the description. The GitHub repository contains everything you'll need to build this device. So this is the prototype wiring with the OLED display, the Hall effect sensor on the printed board. This, this will be on the inside of the box on the wheel side and the feather which is going to be stuck like this. And the OLED display is going to be hot glued to the front. Now it's time to hot glue everything into the box and uh, I'll show the end result. I ended up cutting the Perma Proto in half. Now everything except the Arduino is glued in place. And you can just put the lid on and slide it into a locked position. The USB port is accessible through the hole in the top. The base will fit snugly on the top of the hamster wheel support. The DNA magnets need to be about a one centimeter above the base. Please, before you glue anything in place, measure and measure again. And check your electronics before you glue them with hot glue inside the box. So let's see this thing in action. So here's our hamster fitness device. We'll turn it on in a minute. And as you can see in the bottom there, you can see the little magnet. And it's right now it's calibrating. After it's done calibrating, it will turn off the display. And we'll be ready to receive fitness input. So I'll spin the wheel for one rotation. And you can see that it takes 53 centimeters in distance. Two seconds of no activity, it will turn its display off. So let's spin it a few times. Let's see how far we can get. Now it doesn't really matter in which direction you rotate, it just counts the amounts of rotations, which makes it very reliable and very easy to do. It's basically the same idea as any bicycle computer. If you want to know how far your hamster has run after the display has been turned off, you can just spin it again and we'll turn the display back on. Now you can also modify this with either Bluetooth or a button to get your data. Some final notes. I did have to cut the Perma Proto board in half to fit everything inside the box. So that was kind of a design flaw. I'd advise printing this in PLA instead of ABS. ABS has some fumes that come out even after you've printed it and that might be harmful to your little furry friends. So please print it in something safe for your hamster. If you find that your hamster is chewing on the box, please take it out immediately because it contains electronics. Please note that this is still a prototype and some tinkering may be required. If you find some bugs or want to help out, please commit a pull request and I'll have a look. So that's it for now. Let us know what you thought of this video by commenting and maybe hitting the like or dislike button. Please subscribe if you want more of these videos. We also have a podcast which you can find in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.